Hello everybody. Today, we have a Samsung Galaxy J7 2016. The phone does not turn on. Let's try to charge the phone with a charger. It's taking 480 milliamp years, but no charging icon on screen. Let's check the battery. Maybe the battery is too low. Let's measure the battery with a multimeter. Put the black probe on negative and red probe on positive. And, we have 3.87 volts. That is enough charge to power on the phone. Let's try again. Nope, it is not powering on. Let's try with a bench power supply. Set the bench power supply to 4 volts and 1.5 amperes. Put the black probe on ground, and the red probe on the positive pin of the battery connector. OK, we have short in the main power rail. Let's open the phone. I really really love the design of this phone. This design is very easy to disassembly. You only have to take out the back cover. Take out the battery. Unscrew some screws. Lift the plastic protector and you have the board there. You don't have to lift the screen with the risk of breaking the screen. You don't have to deal with glue. You don't have to remove the glue. You don't have to clean the glue. You don't have to apply glue and you don't have to wait for the glue to dry and cure. Can you see how easy it was to disassembly? It's sad that new phone models mostly are glued. They glue the phones with the excuse to make them waterproof. I have seen many of those waterproof phones damaged by water or any other liquid. First we make a visual inspection of the board. We look at the board and see if there is anything obvious like exploded capacitor or corroded parts. The board looks clean. Let's try to find the short with the thermal camera. We can see something getting hooked. Let's try again. There it is.
Let's check it under the microscope. Let's try with a little bit of alcohol and some amps. The alcohol did not evaporate rapidly with the bench power supply set at 4 volts and 1.5 amperes. Let's try again. Let's measure the capacitor with the multimeter on diode mode. Put the black probe on ground and the red probe on each side of the capacitor. One side should be ground and the other side should be open line. This capacitor is okay. This one is shorted. Let's remove and replace this capacitor. Add a little bit of flux. Set the soldering iron to 370 degrees Celsius. Use a tip that is big enough to touch both ends of the capacitor. We can add some leaded solder to help transfer the heat to the component, this will help to remove the capacitor. Now, let's prepare the pads to receive the replacement part. Using the service manual for J710, I found the value of the capacitor. 
I have a video explaining how to find the value of an electrical component on Samsung phones and tablets using the service manual. I will have the link to that video in the description below. As you can see, the shorted capacitor is C5102. The capacitance of the capacitor is 10,000 nanofarads. 10,000 nanofarads is equal to 10 microfarads. I did not have a broken J710 board for spare parts. I took this capacitor from the board of a broken LCD screen. It has the value and the size required. Let's solder the capacitor to the board. Apply a little bit of flux to the pads. I will not use the hot air station, because the LED is very close. I don't want to take the risk of damaging anything. Soldering a capacitor with the soldering iron is not very hard. Use a tip that is big enough that it can touch and heat both pads. Use the tweezers to help align the capacitor to its position. Add a little bit of flux. Solder each side of the capacitor individually to make sure it is well soldered to the board. Clean with a isopropyl alcohol. Let's assembly the phone. Let's power on the phone. The phone is on. Looks like the screen has a red line and color issues. We will ask the customer. If he wants a new screen we will replace it and charge the extra cost. The phone is charging. The phone is on. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Leave a comment below. What did you like or dislike about this video? 
Don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. Thank you and see you on the next video.